Hippocrates, how's the patient? I couldn't remember the proper steps for treatment and you were gone so long. Your notes were destroyed in a fire. This mistress brought me here to help. I went to see the priests first. I had to find out about my mother. A worthy pursuit, though it cost this man his life. This healer will devote the rest of his life to serving others and you, Hippocrates. This should never happen again. The payment we should seek is the preservation of life. A good doctor puts the needs of his patients first. I have learned a lesson today. I will take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, I'm sorry the patients died, but I still need to know what happened to my mother. Come with me. We should talk. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I know something that may help you find her. I swore I would never tell anyone about Dolops and his past. But I owe this to your mother. Who's Dolops? He was a priest who dedicated his life to helping orphans. It's possible he remembers that night long ago. Maybe he would know something about your mother and her child. I'll go see this man. Thank you, Hippocrates. <laughs>
the man Hippocrates mentioned, but he's hiding. Go away! Calm down. Hippocrates sent me. The great doctor is concerned for my health? Yes. And we need some information. Tell him... Someone tried to kill me. Kill you? He said you worked with orphans. That's why I'm here. That was long ago. Now I'm just a farmer. And I'm Amistheus. If I stop this killer, will you speak with me? I will. Tell me what happened. I was on my way home when a man dressed in black attacked me. I ran as fast as I could. Once I reached safety, I thought I heard wolves. Maybe they scared him away. Are you hurt? No. Thank Ira. Why would someone attack you? My neighbor thinks I'm bad luck. He may be right. There's a difference between insulting someone and attacking them. What else? I'm behind on my rent. I think my landlord wants to get rid of me and find a new tenant. I'll find out who wants you dead. It was my neighbor or my landlord who attacked me. But you can't punish someone unless you know they're guilty. I'll be back when I figured it out. Then, we're talking about your past. This knife has seen better days. Like something a poor farmer would use. Did you see someone attack Dolores? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly. But I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. This armor is broken, but it was valuable. If it belonged to the attacker, he's either wealthy or very lucky. This black cloth is fine enough for a king. Would do well as a mask, too. Did you see someone attack Dolops? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Mistios! You scared me. I know who did it. What do you think? Who tried to kill me?
Maybe I should think about this some more. I'm looking for the person who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Mistios! You scared me! I know who did it. What do you think? Who tried to kill me? It was your landlord. Of course. He wants me out of the way. I'll take care of him. Be careful. He's dangerous.
Your landlord is dead. And he was a lot more than that, though. He... was one of those people, wasn't he? I can't. Please, take this. You might find it useful. You wanted to know something. Hippocrates said you used to work with orphans. I did, but Chrysis drove me away. So she did? Where did you last see her? ...in the woods near the sanctuary of Asclepios. But that was many years ago. Where do you think Chrysis is now? I can't be sure. But she used to pray at the altar of Apollo Maleatas. That's where she decided which children to train and which to let die. How did you come to work with Chrysis? I didn't have a choice. She's my mother. Chrysis kept you a secret. My birth brought shame to her. I could never redeem that. What was Chrysis doing that was so terrible? She would take the children and teach them terrible things. Turn them into spies and even soldiers. I couldn't take it anymore and left. At the secret meeting in Delphi, I overheard Chrysis mention a great warrior. Could these children have been part of her plan? So she did see the Oracle. Oh, yes. Chrysis spoke of building an army with a champion at its head. It must have been for her associates. The masked ones. You have done your duty to Ira. I'll deal with Chrysis. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. This is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. There's the altar of Apollo Maleatus. Ah! 
Getting close. That's right. <laughs> seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You speak of family, yet you sent cult puppets to silence your own son. They're dead, by the way. Dolop ceased being my son when he turned his back on the gods. You mean turned his back on you? The baby was destined to be mine. He was too stupid to understand that. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, Scream for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life by teaching him to suffer, to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me. But she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Themos strength to cope. 
Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, eagle bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis' reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaga. Ella. Let's go. Hold up. 